Hey everyone, James from Tower Garden, and I want to do a little demonstration today. One of the questions we get asked all the time is why do we use liquid nutrients? Yes, liquid nutrients are heavier to ship, which makes it a little bit more expensive, but there's a really important reason, and that process to get all sciencey on you today is called diffusion. It's really important that plants get all of the minerals um, that are in these nutrient formulations. And with liquid nutrients, it keeps them in suspension. And we're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration today. So I've got two glasses of water. Um, I've already got a little bit of our A formulation uh, poured here and we'll add the B as well. Uh, this glass, we're gonna put our liquid nutrients in it. And this glass, we're actually gonna put two packets of sugar. Now sugar is not something you should add to your plants naturally, of course, um, but it will demonstrate the diffusion process because if you're using dry nutrients, there's a good chance that what happens with the sugar is also happening with your system and the nutrients you're using. So I'm gonna take these two packets of sugar and we're gonna drop it in here. Now, you'll see that there's a little bit of the, um, of the sugar is dissolving. Now, to be fair, the pump, and if you're following the instructions of those, there's going to, it's going to ask you to stir or to agitate it to help it get dissolved. So let's add, let's stir it around. And we'll see what happens. It's pretty interesting. You can see that a lot of it has dissolved, but there is still residue here because it hasn't been agitated enough. So we'll agitate it a little bit more. My guess is, is if you're using those dry nutrients, if you were to look in the bottom of your tanks, you're going to see what you see here. And that means not all of the nutrients are getting held in suspension, which means they're not available to the roots of the plants to uptake and grow as healthily as they need to. So now we're gonna take our A and go ahead and we're gonna add it in. Now we're gonna add some B in as well. And again, these um, nutrients are actually much more concentrated. What we're putting in should normally be administered to about, uh, probably about 10 gallons. And we're putting all of this in a small glass of water. So, but it's to demonstrate the fact that if you look, you still don't see any nutrients. You don't see anything falling out, even as concentrated as it is. So this is super important because what it means is that the plants are always going to get the nutrients they need to grow. And with that design formula that we've got that's focused on human nutrition, those trace minerals that are in the formula will get into the plants at the right ratios. So all of that healthy, nutritious um, uptake will then be in the food you're eating. So I hope this answers the questions for everyone. Look over here, still, there's still some residue here. And that's sugar that dissolves very easily. Imagine with some of the more complex minerals in some of these nutrient profiles, that's why you'll see that residue at the bottom. Hope this answers the question as to why we use liquid nutrients and happy growing everyone.